That violence left two people dead, including a high school senior. The community is devastated, especially those at Grant Union High School, where one of the victims was supposed to graduate tonight. Our Devin Truby joins us live with the details. Sadly, another young life cut short too soon, just within the last few days, Devin. Absolutely, Laura, just devastating for the community. And I'm here at Grant Union High School, where we are just hours away from when that young man would have been receiving his high school diploma. And this is also the field where he helped the Pacers win a football championship this year. You always gonna laugh when he come around, you know? Uh, he was there for you when times got hard, you know, stuff got hard, you know, you could call on him. Joshua Hamilton last spoke to his friend hours before the graduating senior was shot in North Highlands Wednesday night. They were talking about the excitement of walking together at graduation. Now Hamilton will remember the day for a different reason. And it's frustrating seeing a life took so young and it's knowing that I know his family is going through it because today they're they're expecting to see their son graduate and that not being able to happen, you know, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Community activist Barry Axias is concerned at the significant amount of violence in the community before the start of summer, especially when it includes young people. He says tragedies will continue without intervention and prevention. Opportunity solutions look like resources. Solutions look like we don't have to come to the table every year asking for money to support our young people. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says the shootings are all isolated incidents and not connected. When it comes to protecting the youth in the community, they know it's difficult for parents. Going back to that old, it's 10 o'clock, do you know where your children are? Um, nothing good happens after 10 o'clock, and I mean, this is sadly kind of becoming the case on that. Keep tabs on who they're with, keep tabs on what they're doing and, you know, what they're doing on their phones. All these little things that we kind of preach, and it's, again, just kind of proving itself over and over. Twin Rivers Unified School District released a statement saying graduation will continue as planned tonight at 7, but they have additional security in place and everyone will be screened before entering the stadium tonight. Chris, Laura. So much heartbreak during a time that should be full of celebration. And sadly, Devin, this isn't the first time Grant Union has dealt with tragedy. A student football player was killed in 2015. We'll have more coverage of the graduation tonight. Devin, thank you.